Hey everybody, this is Dustin Black for another edition of Power Moves and also of your coaching session. So there's a lot of talk about basically achieving balance or flow. Now I'm not trying to create a East Coast, West Coast type of thing going on here, but again, as you know, for the last the last better part of the last 10 to 15, maybe even 20 years, you've been hearing a lot about people talking about creating a level of balance in their home, on the job, in the work. And as the years have gone by and all stuff, we have been able to go ahead and figure out what's working and what doesn't. And here's my personal take on that. You know, as a professional coach who does basically one-on-one -on -one coaching with individuals, uh, corporate figures of different sort, as well as basically working with a number of corporations and basically doing these seminars, the one thing I've basically been talking a lot about is basically now what I believe is actually more realistic is in regards to basically achieving and focusing on achieving flow in your organization or in your life. Here's, here's the big difference. You know, when people are talking about balance, the it's implied that in, in many cases, hey, I got 50% time with the kids, 50% time with the work, balance, okay? But the reality is that in many cases, that's just not even possible. If you're a high achieving individual who basically is trying to go ahead and move up the ladder, but yet you have family, friends, and different obligations, it's just at different seasons, guys, where you're gonna have simply things out of balance. Maybe you're having to spend more time on the job or in school or in school and the job to where that's taking a majority of your time for the season instead of the time with the family. And then of course, there can be times when you can be able to go ahead and do that, and that basically adjusts itself time and time again. But the overall notion, dare I say the romantic notion of basically becoming balanced, I, I think is basically uh, on the level of unicorns, unicorns and pots of gold at the end of the rainbow. Here's what I believe is actually more realistic. Follow me here for a second. Flow, looking to achieve better flow. I get this example whenever you see basically running water either coming down from rain or from a river. Flow implies the fact that you're able to go ahead and still be meet obstacles, go around them by still and still maintain momentum. Hear what I said before, and I'll say I'm gonna say it again. The achieving flow is the ability to go ahead and meet obstacles while still maintaining momentum. Now this is probably more realistic with the type of life that you and I live. Listen, every day we get up and also whether it's basically going in traffic or basically dealing with an unexpected whatever, job, emergency, call at three o'clock in the morning, all those things interrupt our flow. All right. So when a person now is basically now practicing on how to basically maintain flow, they're now able to go ahead and see the situation, be able to make the adjustment without losing momentum. Right now, what we're experiencing in our society and with a lot of the clients I get a chance to work with, there are things that are getting in the way of their flow. And you'll be surprised. It's not anything so metaphysical. In many cases, the very biggest thing that breaks your flow is how you set up. Even individuals that just simply have a very cluttered or unorganized room, that breaks your flow. And if not dealt with ahead of time, literally dominoes into everything else. And it goes on and on. So guys, I want you to go ahead and take a look at this, ask yourself this question today. How is my flow? And if it's not very good on that, how can I eliminate that? And if we're still having problems trying to figure out how to do that, give me a call. More than happy to go ahead and help you. As you guys know, I'm basically in the midst of providing, uh, matter of fact, over 1,000 complimentary coaching sessions to individuals. So go ahead and take me up on that. Love to go ahead and help you get a chance to really identify the blocks and help you achieve flow. So guys, I hope this is helpful. If you like what you heard here today, hey, post a comment below. Love to go ahead and hear from you. Hope you found this helpful. And guys, like I said before, don't be selfish. Pay this forward and share this with your friend, with a friend. Guys, this has been Desert Blackburn, founder of Ignite You Peak Performance Coaching. It's my pleasure to get a chance to work with you guys. So again, thank you so much. And as always, don't forget, don't just make a move. Make a power move today. You take care now. God bless. Bye-bye.